Hello and welcome to Trains in Vietic. Today I'm talking about these things here, decoder testers. I have got two decoder testers and they're one of the most useful items I have. For, uh, both of these are made by ESU. We got the older model and the newer model. Uh, these allow me to test decoders before I even put them in locos. Okay, I'm going to unbox uh, the first one to start off with. What you have is track input, which you can either screw into your DCC system or crocodile clip on. You then have a motor and a speaker. You then have lights to indicate functions plus directional lights. Then you have uh, four different decoder inputs. So you've got 21 hard hardwired NEM 65R1, which is for six pin type, and a NEM. 652 which is an 8 pin and as a di little addition to this I have added a standard 8 pin connector which is used on I mean a 9 pin connector which is used on half of the hardwire decoders this is for older unit as it have less connection less decoder type connections and I keep this one in Vietic a nice little feature with this is you have little rubber feeds so it doesn't move anywhere and it keeps it off a uh, surface you're using it on. Okay, this is for modern version. I'll just unbox it again. I have given myself a little short piece of wire to test it with. You've got slightly different configuration. You've got your speaker still and you've got your track connection. You either got solder pads or you've got a screw terminal which I keep stuck to the back so that I can put it away after use. You then have a speaker but you have a little switch here which allow you to use both uh, ESU for uh, local pilot 3.5 and before and local pilot I mean lock sound uh, 3.5 and before and a lock pilots 4 by just changing what speaker I am it is as uh, the two types of speakers have different uh, sp different types of speakers needed for the different type of decoders. Again, you have your function lights just there, but you have additional uh, decoder pins. Again, you have a eight pin, six pin, a hard wire. I much prefer this system because it's greed. You then have your 21 still, but then you have a next uh, 18 and for plus 22. So this cover most of the modern decoders. This one I keep down uh, on my work desk so that I can just test decoders before I use them. Uh, so when I buy a new coder, I just... Um, quickly connect this to a command station and just quickly test it. Okay, these two uh, decoder testers are made by ESU, which is the same manufacturer as my controller. Uh, you can get other decoder testers from other manufacturers. I could even make one yourself I find them very useful and a very good tool to have in my toolbox. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and enjoyable. Make sure to like, subscribe and comment. See you next time, Richard.